All right, and welcome. So today we are going to be going over section 1.2, which is all about points, lines, and planes. At the end of this video, you should be able to use the terms point, line, plane, collinear, coplanar, and intersection, as well as be able to draw representations of points, lines, and planes. So without further ado, let's have out those guided notes and let's begin. In any mathematical system, there are some intuitive ideas that are accepted without definition. In geometry, the terms point, line, and plane are not defined. These terms, which are described below, are then used in the definitions of other terms. Many students forget this. Throughout the year, students tend to forget that point, line, and plane are not defined. So please do your best to recall that point, a line and a plane are not going to be defined, but they help us describe definitions of the following terms. So we have a point. A point is a location. It has no length, no width, and no thickness. Notice how we have a capital letter with our point. So this would be called point R. A line is an infinite set of points that extends in two directions. A line has length k, but no width and no thickness. We can describe this given line as line k, and notice how this k is in script. It's a lowercase script or a cursive letter. We can also use a capital S and a capital T with a line above it, and that's going to tell us this is line st. We also could say line ts just as well. We have what's called plane. A plane is an infinite set of points that creates a flat surface that extends without ending. A plane has length and width, but it has no thickness. You can kind of think of it as a piece of paper that we write on, but just think that it doesn't have any boundaries. It just keeps going on and on and on. So it's this infinite set of paper that we can create lines and use points on. We would call these planes plane X and plane Y. Notice how X and Y are capital letters. They do not have a point next to it. So we're not saying that point X is in this plane. This is called plane X and we have plane Y. Then we have what's called the space. Space is a set of all of the points. We typically don't use space too much this year, but it is good to know that space does exist. We have the phrase collinear. To be collinear, is points on the same line. So looking at the diagram to the right, points L, M, and N are collinear. Those three points are on the same line. We also have non-collinear. That's when points are not on the same line. So points A, B, and C to the diagram to the right are non-collinear because they are not on the same line. We have coplanar and non-coplanar. Points in the same plane describe the phrase coplanar. Points W, X, V, and N are coplanar. They're in the same plane. Just like with collinear and non-collinear, we have coplanar and non-coplanar. Points that are not in the same plane are non-coplanar. So points W, X, F, and G are non-coplanar because they are not in the same plane. W and X are on the same plane. F and G are on the same plane. But when we put all four points together in one statement, those are non-coplanar. So we also have this phrase that's called the intersection. It's a set of points in both figures. Dashes in the diagrams indicate parts that are hidden from the view. So if you look at the back side of plane N under plane M, you're going to see a couple dashed lines because technically that set right there, that section of the plane should not be visible if we had a solid plane M and a solid plane N. We wouldn't see that. So we show those dashed lines to show that, hey, this part of the plane does exist, but we just can't really see it because it would be hidden if we were looking at it with our own eyes. A couple of things to notice is that point Z is on line AB. Line AB contains point Z. Line AB passes through point Z. 
lines AB and lines CD intersect at point Z. Plane M contains line AB and point Y. Line CD intersects point M at point Z. Or to say plane M at point Z, I apologize. Plane M and plane N intersect at line EF. Line EF is the intersection of planes M and plane N. Planes M and N contain line EF. And with this in mind, please work on problems 1 through 23 on the guided notes. Great job with this so far, kiddos. This is going to be the foundation of a lot of vocab that we're going to be using throughout the year. So please make sure we focus in here, work on those problems, and I'll talk to you soon.